Hello, I am Mobilent. In this video, we have prepared an easy to understand video that shows the process of making and testing electric bicycles. First and foremost, it's important to have a clear understanding of the purpose and goal of the electric bicycle, including wheel size, before deciding on the concept design. Most electric bicycles are made using aluminum or magnesium alloys, and high and sport electric bicycles with center drive systems are sometimes made with carbon. We start testing the bicycle frame using a fixing device. This is done with the seat post, handlebar, and pedals removed from the frame. Now we can perform stress tests on the frame. We conduct frame stress tests due to pedaling, frame drop, front fork impact, and stress tests on the top tube and folding hinge due to road shocks. This area needs to be tested precisely because the surrounding area is weakened by the heat generated by welding. We also focus on testing the head tube that connects the frame and fork. As this is the most common area where the frame breaks due to aluminum being prone to fatigue failure. Once the frame is determined, we select a suitable motor for the bicycle design output. As the load on the motor increases, the temperature inside the motor rises rapidly. The coil can be used up to 150 to 180 degrees, but it must be maintained below 120 degrees to prevent coil degradation. Output restrictions should be applied to prevent the motor from burning out under daily load ranges. A 250 watt motor typically produces a maximum torque of 42 newton meters at 36 volts and a maximum rotation speed of around 340 rpm. We prepare the necessary components for electric bicycle operation, such as a throttle, monitor, power cutoff brake, pedal assist sensor, and lights. We connect these components with a BLDC controller that has similar output to the motor and perform a motor drive test. Rechargeable lithium-based batteries are mainly used, and reusing second-hand batteries is prohibited. We recommend using brand-name products such as Samsung, LG, and Panasonic. We test whether the ignition starts and check the battery activation status and any malfunctions through a low temperature operation test because normal battery activity is difficult at low temperatures. To prevent corrosion of the metal connecting the battery under high temperatures and humidity, it is recommended to waterproof the battery pack internally. We test whether the BMS protecting the battery is working properly through capacity tests during charging and discharging. We then proceed with the driving test, where we add a metal block of about 45 millimeters and conduct an obstacle impact test while driving on the road. We conduct a test by adding a weight equivalent to a person's weight at an electric bicycle speed limit of 25 kilometers per hour by passing these repetitive stresses. The company obtains safety certification from the government and becomes eligible for sale to consumers. Subscribing and clicking the like button would greatly help us in producing more videos. Thank you for watching.